I just remember, like, I don't know, three years ago or something, I've been doing this for a little while, doing this, I do this, this. <laughs> and um, we we had, like, a, um, a little retreat with a bunch of different professionals in La Conner. And it was just, the idea was to kind of get everybody together and sort of see where everyone was at and, you know, do, do sort of like a learning in service event and just learn from each other. And so um, they set up this exercise on the first, the first morning, the first day, and they said, we want you to break up into groups of three. And a lot of us didn't know each other that well. We didn't necessarily work together all the time. We want you to break up into groups of three and um, go and have a discussion about the meaning of the principles. But here's the catch. Just to up the stakes, I want you to imagine that the person you love the most in this world is on their deathbed. And you've only got five minutes to share with them what the meaning of all this is to you. And you can't teach. So everyone was like, person I love the most on their deathbed, share the, what I understand about the principles, but I can't teach. Okay. So everyone's like, so how do you not teach? <laughs> and that was the whole point. The whole point of the exercise was, look, get clear and convey it in the most meaning way, meaningful way possible. But remember, you're not teaching anything. This is not a teaching. This is not an instructional deal. You know, this is something that everybody already knows. You're not teaching them anything. So it was really the kind of, it's like, you know, when they, when you're in physical therapy and they tell you not to use one arm, you just have to use the other over and over again. It was like, don't use what you're used to using. See if you can really get clear and, and go deep. And so, um, we went to this little room and I was with Kathy and Ken and we're just, I knew Kathy. I didn't really know Ken at that time. And it was really interesting because when I started to reflect, okay, I don't have, I'm not going to try to teach, teach principles in five minutes. Like, what is this really, what does this understanding do for humanity? And it kind of hit me and I said, I don't know if this is cheating, but I think I would just hold the person. <laughs> But what I would hope would come through that feeling, that embrace, that love, would be the realization that there's nothing to be afraid of. In my deepest understanding of this, what's behind the human experience is there's nothing wrong and there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just your mind's going to trick you into thinking that sometimes. But it's an illusion. And realizing that you're actually always okay. It's just sometimes you don't think you are. It means that life is just not as scary as it feels sometimes. And that's what I feel really grateful to understand. And I wish that everyone I knew could feel that in some way too.